So which one of you has been to the den at Soy Chayapum? And which one of you has been to the Kinnery at Pratamnak? And which one of you has been to Heaven at Cozy Beach? And which one of you has been to Blush at Jom Tien? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to have a walk along Dong Tan Beach while we have a chat about gentlemen's clubs. The reason for this video is because it recently came to my attention that many of you guys have misconceptions about these gents clubs. You can thank subscriber Phil for this video. Don't worry Phil, I'm not going to mention your full name. I met up with Phil last week for a chat and in the conversation he said that he'd been coming to Patia for 20 years and in all that time he'd never ever set foot in any gentleman's clubs and I, th I said why? why why wouldn't you do that and he said that he had the impression that they were all seedy dumps full of old ladies so it occurred to me that maybe there's a big percentage of you guys out there who also have this misconception so I thought that I needed to update you and put the record straight because the idea couldn't be farther from the truth especially this year with so many go-go's closing down and so many of their, their girls have had to move elsewhere and a lot of them have gone to gentlemen's clubs because that's where a lot of the guys who live here go not to go-go's the guys who live here go to gents clubs so if you think about it the only customer base left at the moment is the expats so they have to go where they are or they just go home and give up and go home to Isa but the ones who stayed are not in Gogos I mean some are but not a lot so let's start with the first comment that they're seedy joints well the first and most well known that comes to mind of the clubs is Kinnery. That's between Soy 4 and Soy 5 in Pratamnak, which is a very nice classy area. Uh, now Kinnery is a large luxurious villa with many many rooms and sofas and chairs, like big tables for relaxing, uh, it's got a superb kitchen, uh, it does weekend roasts and also on a Wednesday it does a roast um, which incidentally if you buy only two or three lady drinks is completely free so you get a, a completely free quality roast meal it has two big bars and there's private parking uh, and there's also a doorman uh, another gents club which is equally lovely is Passion in Jom Tien. Uh, that's a large luxurious private villa with a private wall around and everything and it has its own private decent sized swimming pool and when it gets very hot and people have had a few drinks and it's a warm afternoon they have pool parties and at the weekend they have free barbecue if you buy a couple of lady drinks you get your barbecue for free same as at Kinry and inside Passion it uh, has large tables and chairs good quality not cheap stuff uh, and um, a big bar where you can relax and it has a big pool table as well um, where the girls do their best to pot a ball or two can be very entertaining and all around the walls it has a uh, big TVs playing older music videos from the 80s 90s uh, and not too loud so maybe that is aimed more at the slightly older crowd uh, which is it, it, it tends to be their customers anyway so in my opinion passion and Kenry are both excellent places 
Uh, so if you want to go a little bit further more into John Tien, uh, then you've got Blush, and that is again a huge private villa uh, with very luxurious sofas and tables and chairs all over the place. Uh, many, many, many mounted TVs playing music videos. And because it's a, a large villa, it of course has many rooms. Now, if you move nearer to Patia itself, only a few minutes really from uh, Walking Street is Cozy Beach at Pratamnak. And there you have the gents club called Heaven. Now that again is a large private villa with its all walled off area and everything and it's got many many rooms and it's got a large central room with a bar at one end and a pool table at the other end and then all down the length of the room there are windows which overlook a private swimming pool. Now that often gets full, well not full but <laughs> It gets busy with girls and guys just enjoying themselves and having a drink and cooling off in the uh, in the water. So again, it has wall-mounted TVs with modern music this time uh, around the place, and it's played a bit louder. So maybe that's aimed at more slightly younger crowd, little bit, little bit maybe. So that's just four gents clubs that, that I've chosen and they're all large luxurious private villas and a million miles from being seedy you couldn't really be further from the truth so it needs you need to learn this stuff guys uh, next time you come you really want to try these places because they are excellent that's why all the expats go they know the score don't go getting ripped off at these tourist trap places. Don't go there anymore. Go to the places where you get a good value for money. The other misconception is that because it's called a club, like a gents club, you need to be a member. No, absolutely not. There's no membership for any GC anywhere in Patia. Okay, got that? Nothing, no memberships. So any of you guys can just go to any of these clubs, there's no memberships. So you just have to go and ring the doorbell or in some cases the doorman just say hello to the doorman, give him a nod and he'll just let you in. And GC is normally open between 1pm and 9pm. What you will find is that there's a lot of regulars who go there. Um, not so many tourists because tourists don't know about it it tends to be the the veteran patio veterans or the expats uh, mainly because they know about them but they know also have their own transport and they know how to get there because they're not that easy to find some of them but that's the only restriction knowing about it and that's why I'm trying to educate you guys teach you where to go and not get ripped off and the other reason why patio veterans and expats go is the prices it's beer bar type prices so soft drinks are like 60 baht or something a beer is 80 baht lady drinks 130 baht not even close to the rip off go go prices you get in uh, LK and, and, and uh, worst of all walking street not even close to that. Uh, we'll get on to the girls later, okay? But we'll, we're talking about the prices and the, and the places themselves right now. Now, gents clubs are all closed door clubs. You can't just walk in like you can with a bar. You have to either ring the bell and someone will answer the door and let you in, or they'll have a doorman. And you just speak to the doorman, say good morning, well, good afternoon, rather, or something. And he will let you in but you can't just walk in um, mainly due to the <laughs> the fact that a lot of the workforce shall we say uh, have somewhat of a lack of attire let's put it that way I'll leave the rest to your imagination it can be very entertaining watching some of these staff 
making the more difficult pull shots if you follow my meaning so I've covered some of the better venues there but there are many others too uh, too many to really go through them all uh, in a short video I mean for example um, a really smart one is is Babylon on Soy Bonkot and uh, Heavens a Above on Soy Boomerang that's, that's very popular uh, and also the Den uh, on Soy Pothole I mean really I would say that the increase in the popularity of the gents clubs and the emergence of more and more smarter looking ones it seems to me that those few old seedy ones have actually disappeared and gone out of business because nobody goes there anymore they've gone if you've never been to a jets club before basically it's very similar to a beer bar except of course it's closed doored um, so you after you've you know rung the bell or spoken to the doorman you walk in and you'll see like normally a good selection of tables and chairs and sofas and you can just relax there so you just choose somewhere to sit and then one of these with the larger um, gents clubs they have service staff who are like actual waitresses and it's obvious from what they're wearing yeah so they there if it's a larger place then they'll come over and just order a drink as you would normally in a bar um, and if it's a smaller place then they don't have service staff in which case one of the working girls will come over and or, uh, ask you what to drink and then you just order your drink and you get whatever you want and then that comes and you just sit down and relax now when you've got your drink you just look around as you would in a beer bar um, and you see anything that takes your fancy just like in a beer bar, make eye contact, just the same, smile, and then she'll come over, and you take it from there. Now, if you're wondering if there's anything like um, uh, dancing girls and po uh, on poles, like in a go go, no, not in any of these the gents clubs. There's nothing like that. The girls are just sitting around or standing around, just chatting to each other or chatting to customers. Uh, and it's a more relaxed atmosphere it's not like a go it doesn't look anything like a go-go okay that's what it looks that's what it's like when you walk in now just moving on to pricing uh, I mentioned earlier about the, the the drinks pricing which is the same as a beer bar very very reasonable uh, there's certainly not a rip off it and it's, it's quite inexpensive um, so uh, in a beer bar, a bar fine would normally be between three and four hundred baht. Now, in a gents' clubs, an ST room is priced at exactly the same, between three and four hundred baht normally. And it's not normal for LT to exist at all in a gents' club. It's all ST. Okay? If you don't know what that means, look it up in Urban Dictionary. <laughs> so, um, there's no bar fine at all because the staff don't leave the premises so just moving on to the staff if you're concerned uh, and have the misconception that they're all old that's absolutely not the case I've been to just about every GC in Patia at some time and from personal knowledge most of the staff are between 19 and 32. Um, ST pricing is exactly the same as it is in any good beer bar, between 1,000 and 1,500, depending on how good you are at negotiating. <laughs> Up to you. <laughs> I did a series of four videos covering every gents club in Patia and where they all are, the full locations and everything and show, took you there to each one and showed you them so the whole four videos are worth looking at so I'll put a link up to the top right hand side of the picture now and you just click on that and that will take you to the very first one of the 
various different uh, four videos and follow the series through uh, and then you can just start with start off with the one nearest to the where you happen to be staying at the time so when you eventually get back here give the gents clubs a try but first more importantly subscribe and like and share and ring the bell right now and thank you for watching and tell me in the comments what you think about gents clubs if you've been to them if you tried them and what you think and which ones you tried and what have you okay and thank you very much for watching okay take care